This is question number 15. It says here is a right angle triangle. We're asked to work out the length of AC. We're asked to give our answer correct to one decimal place. The question carries three marks. So this is a right angle triangle and we can see that AC is the hypotenuse and we have the two shorter sides, AB and BC. If we look at Pythagoras, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So we can say that one of the shorter sides is A, the other is B, and the hypotenuse is C. So all I'm going to write then is that AC squared, which is C squared, is equal to 39 squared plus 70 squared. So we can say now that AC squared, and shown full workings, just getting a value for each of these, we're going to have 39 squared, that's going to give me 1521. So let's put this in. We got 1521. Then 70 squared. And again, if you want to work this out in a calculator, you can do 4900. And then we can simply write now the following. We can say that AC will be the positive square root of these two numbers added up square rooted. So let's just add our 1521. That gives us now 6 Four, two, one. So 6, 4, 2, 1. So A, C, and we need to give our answer to one decimal place. So taking the square root of the answer, that's going to give us 80.1 centimetres. So 80.1 centimetres, and that is to one decimal place. So I've shown full workings just to ensure I'm getting the full marks. Um, essentially, we can say that AC is a square root of 39 squared plus 70 squared. The reason I put the positive square root here is because we've got a plus or minus answer and clearly this length needs to be a positive value.